The key issues that I'm going to focus on as Queens District Attorney will be first to make sure that we're operating in a more fair and, and just way. I want to make sure that we're not forcing individuals to give up their constitutional rights by using our power to coerce them to, to waive their 180-80 rights. I want to make sure that we're turning over discovery, all the evidence to the person who's representing that, that the individual that's involved in the criminal justice system. I want to make sure they have all the information that's that they need to make a decision as to where they, you know, what they're going to do with the case. And I want to make sure that we're not dragging cases out for years on end because we're playing with the ready rule and we're trying to game the system. That all ends when I'm district attorney. But more importantly, when I'm district attorney, what's going to change is I'm going to make sure that we partner with the community. I'm going to invite the community in. Um, I'm going to have a conviction review unit, but not only a conviction review unit, but also an independent advisory council that will uh, advise my prosecutors on how to prevent wrongful convictions. It's not just about getting the individuals who are wrongfully convicted out of jail, it's about making sure wrongful convictions never happen again. And that's why this advisory council is going to be made up of, you know, criminal justice reform advocacy groups, the clergy, and those individuals who themselves were wrongfully convicted and, and incarcerated and exonerated after years be spending in jail. So that type of partnership with the community, uh, bringing in the advocates, bringing in the community leaders, and really setting up a true collective uh, uh, cooperation with how do we deal with criminal justice, how do we deal with promoting safety while still respecting individuals' rights and dignity um, in our society.